Fran Allen helped establish the foundation for much of modern computer programming. But before her breakthroughs, awards, and accolades, Fran was the oldest of six kids who grew up on a dairy farm in New York State without power or running water. She was a second mother to her siblings and to her many nieces and nephews, and even to the people she mentored. After two years of teaching high school grade math, Fran decided to pursue a master's degree at the University of Michigan, where she took a few basic computing classes and learned how to program an IBM 650 data processing machine. Uh, was enamored with the whole idea of using a high, high level language. Everybody, uh, and adopted, and I didn't realize I'd done it at the time, but over the years I've suddenly, I realized I adopted the goals that John Backus had set in, in establishing Fortran to, for user productivity and, and uh, problem performance. Fran determined to make the tedious process of compiling, converting software programs into ones and zeros, more efficient. I, I think that, that, that some of Fran's most important work was, her, was some of her earliest work. And that was often done with John Cock. And they wrote a catalog of all those kinds of inefficiencies and the kinds of transformations you'd need to make to that output in order to make it more efficient. And that's the fundamentals of what we now think of as an optimizing compiler. Fran rose to become the first female IBM Fellow in 1989. And in 2006, she became the first woman to win the Turing Award. But winning the Turing Award really has changed my life. I've uh, gotten uh, invitations from around the world to come and to, to give talks about uh, the work I had done. Aware of her influence as a role model, Fran also was committed to mentoring other female technologists. One of the ideas that was really important to Fran, and she shared with me many times, is that it is important to focus on the work, to stay technical, and to be able to be very deliberate about what you're doing and how you talk about your work, because that's how you make a difference. Things that Fran did was, <clears throat> was she supported young people. She did a lot of uh, support for the young people that showed interest in education. And then uh, she uh, would give, donate their money for their education. And she, she was just always reaching out to young women because she believed women should get ahead. She was very strong about women. Fran never stopped being a teacher and made sure to pass on the gift of education to her nieces and nephews who wanted to go to college. So that power of education got her out of the farmhouse uh, to SUNY Albany. She went back to teaching after SUNY Albany. Again, kind of her investment in herself and education got her to the University of Michigan which then got her to IBM and helped her accomplish all of these incredible things. So the biggest gift that she wanted to give all of us was that same power, like that same ability to um, you know, use education as a path to something greater for us as individuals. Fran was as passionate about travel as she was about her work. She was an avid adventurer and mountain climber and scaled mountains in Austria, China, and Tibet. But Fran always remained committed to her family and friends and was always humble about her accolades. Fran didn't talk a lot about her work. She was very modest about it, extremely modest about it. She'd get, we'd find out she'd gotten awards or recognized and stuff. And if we didn't, through her friends, we didn't know. And she always was just smiling and laughing like this was part of life. She, you know, obviously was successful in her career, but if you met her, um, you know, just from, you know, a kind of physical appearance, the car she drove, the clothes she wear, how she presented herself, how she talked to people, um, you never would have guessed that she was always so humble about all of her accomplishments. I was told that she was away on a trip and her, her friend's daughter was getting married and there's so many people for the rehearsal she opened her house to it and she wasn't even there. 
come over and have the party at my house. And she arrived w way after the party was well started. But that's the way she was. She just opened herself to everybody. Fran Allen was a beloved figure in and outside of IBM. As much as she will be remembered for her technical vision and her foundational work in computing throughout her 45-year career at IBM, she will equally be remembered for her passion to inspire and mentor. She was a brilliant thinker and innovator, and a kind-hearted individual who had an unabashed commitment to others. IBM and the world are better for Fran Allen. <laughs>